items from top restaurants, wineries, and breweries at this year's Taste of Albuquerque. Joining us this morning to tell us all about this, ABQ Uptown General Manager Travis Robinson and Elephant Bar General Manager Justin Hodge. I want to thank you guys so much for joining us. Good morning. Thanks for thank having you. us. So I'm super pumped about this. Any way to, you know, sample some food yeah. is Perfect, right up my alley. So tell me, Travis, what is this event and how much does it yeah, cost? Yeah, we have so many great restaurants in the Uptown area. So it, it shows off the ABQ Uptown restaurants mm -hmm. as well as about 16 others. So we have 20 total restaurants. And you come to the event and you buy a taste wristband. You can buy them online or you can buy them at the event. And each wristband has 10 tastes on it. So okay. you rip off a little taste tab. You give it to a tenant that you want to try their food. And each tenant has a little tasting of food on a plate. And you get to try 10 different things, 10 different restaurants, try something you haven't had before. That's pretty neat. Yeah. It's you know, because too often you go to a restaurant, you're like, I don't know what to get. I don't know if I'm going to like it. So you don't go. Right? Yeah. Right. So this is perfect. Okay. So in addition to the tastings, what else are you guys going to have there? We have a beer garden. So we have local distilleries, uh, breweries, and wineries. And then we also have so beer for purchase. And then we also have uh, a band playing, two bands playing that day Kelly Shaw Band, a couple local bands. Um, we have a fashion show going, so some of our tenants, Banana Republic, BCBG, Alfred Angelo. Okay, you get to see what's trending now, right? Yeah, they're doing. They're showing a lot of their fall looks um, and some of their back to school looks. Jim Bree's doing a little kids fashion show. Oh. And then we also have a Jim Bree's uh, ho holding a little kids play area as well. Okay, so that's what I was going to ask painters, you. Face painters, balloon, yeah. all of that for free uh, at the event. It'll be a lot of fun, even if you don't want to come and taste the food. So definitely family friendly environment. Yes, yes, family fun all around. Perfect. Is this the first year you guys have done this? No, this is our third annual okay. actually. Okay, yeah. so going strong. Going strong. We, we've had growing participation every year and uh, this year we've introduced something new. It's a, actually a competition between the the restaurants. So we always have collecting taste tabs for charity. Whoever gets the most taste tabs uh, gets money for their charity in second place and third place. That's pretty but neat. This year we actually have three uh, local judges, so food bloggers, uh, magazine editors that are uh, food critics, and they're actually going to taste the food and, and decide who's the who's the champion, who has bragging rights for the next year for oh, the first, wow. third, or second, and third place. So they really better be on their game, right? They're on their game this year. They better be. They're being judged. Speaking of the restaurants, yeah. Justin, tell me what you're going to make for us today. So today we're making our wok seared chicken lettuce wraps. Um, that sounds delicious. It is. So um, how do we get started? So the first thing we've got, we've got our wok, it's hot, and I've got uh, sesame oil. Okay. So we're going to put that into the wok. Hot wok. Important. And then we have our ground chicken. Okay. Which has been marinated. It's got uh, some cayenne pepper and some lemon juice, a few other things in there. Is this one of your favorites um, at the Elephant Bar? This is our most popular appetizer. Okay. Um, we have Oh, a, this is an appetizer? This is actually That's an appetizer, huge. yeah. So this is intended for two to four people. Okay. Yeah. So, so. I, I could probably tackle it myself, but maybe I'll invite some friends over. Yeah, it's it's really <laughs> good. It's it's got a real global kind of flavor. That's okay. our style at Elfin okay. Bar. We have everything from from sushi to uh, steaks. This is a uh, Asian inspired. We have chicken teriyaki, all kinds of different things. Okay. So we're gonna sear the chicken a little bit. Um, we're gonna make sure it gets nice and brown, and then we're going to add garlic and ginger. They're both fresh. We chop them up there at the restaurant. And we sear that a little bit more too. And I really like the atmosphere. Tell me about the atmosphere if somebody's never been there. Uh, Elephant Bar is a, a globally inspired restaurant, so mm -hmm. we've got kind of like an African safari theme. Yeah. Um, you can. We've got a really good kids menu. You bring your kids, they get a free uh, dessert and a drink with their meal. Okay. So kids love it. There's a giant elephant at the front door, and they always hang on the elephant. Yeah. And, and I bet your parents love that they get their free dessert because exactly. you know kids at the end are like, can I please get an ice cream? And they can actually say yes. They can say yes and it's on us. Yeah. So we're going to make sure the garlic and the ginger get nice and seared there with the chicken. And then we've got diced red onions. Okay. Those go in and get seared a little bit more. And you guys are located where in Uptown? We are right. Uh, well, on right Louisiana. in the center, right off yeah. of Louisiana. Okay. Um, if you are on Louisiana, you'll see Elephant Bar in that big brown building. Yeah. Um, it's uh, right in the center of the center okay. of the Uptown Center. So, and it's the first street into Uptown, right? Well, the first coming from the west side. Yes. Correct. Exactly. Okay. Yep. From Louisiana. Yep. We're okay. right on the Louisiana side. 
Okay, um, and do you um, recommend people make reservations, or can you just walk in? And we definitely accept reservations, and we can walk in either one, whichever is better for you. Okay. Um, we are usually pretty busy, so we like it. if you make reservations, we'll definitely guarantee you yeah. a spot, and you won't have to yeah. wait. So. Okay. And what else do we do here? Well, so then we've got diced water chestnuts. We're going to add those in as well, and, and then while you're wrapping this up, more. Travis, tell me about the event. It's a Saturday, right? Yeah. So it's from 12 to 4. Uh, the restaurants will all be set up. They'll be ready to go at 12, so you can come early. Um, if you buy online, we have some giveaways, some bags and water bottles, uh, and some, some appetizer giveaways and, and uh, deals that are going on in the stores. Okay. So if you buy them online, the first hundred will get those bags. Um, so we have tickets for sale online, we have tickets for sale at the event, and then you, you can just show up and have fun. If you don't want to yeah. eat food, you can come. No, show go up, ahead, go ahead. We're going to pour that on show. here. As Travis wraps us up, yep. um, this looks delicious. It looks great. So don't forget, it's this Saturday. For more information, go to our website, krqb.com. We'll have an entire recap of this entire interview. We'll be right back. Thank you guys for joining us. Thank you. Oh, it smells delicious.